Hello everyone, welcome to Console of PC Gaming. We are with DCS World and in the A10C Tank Buster. That's it there, and we are about to take off from the Persian Gulf map. And um, what is our aim today is to actually see how high we can go with this aircraft. We've got no weapons, as you can see. So let's put the flaps up a notch for takeoff. Get inside, and uh, off we go. Full power. So we are going to look, be looking at this altitude uh, dial, see how high we can go. We've got no weapons, so we're nice and light. And we are running this uh, in uh, on a GTX 2080 Ti, so plenty of power. I think it's time to rotate. Okay, off we go. What an aircraft the way. TCS is just amazing, isn't it? So we're on our way. Uh, the gears are up. Let's put the flaps up. Yep, they're up too. And we'll just keep it steady now for a while and see how high we can go. We're looking at this dial at the moment with a 1200. Let's see if I remember where the uh, runway is. It will be. Uh, where are we heading? Uh, we're heading 20, 210 degrees, so we're going to be turning around maybe and going back to north. So let's see how high we, how fast we can get up to that altitude. I think some people have said they've got up to about 29,000, but I'm not sure. Let's see our progress on the outside. I believe this aircraft is mainly used for ground support uh, against good against tanks. It's heavily armoured, got a huge gun, and uh, but I'm not sure it's uh, very good against um, modern jets. Of course, I mean it's quite old now. I think. I've been thinking of getting the Syria map as well. I might have a look at that. Persian Gulf map is very good though. The detail in DCS world is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, uh, we've got Flight Simulator and it is good, but this is just so smooth as well. I know it hasn't got all the whole world, but it's good in a way that it's got separate, you know, maps where you can uh, still have lots of detail, but the animation and the flight model is perfect. So now we're going to 7,000 feet. We're climbing at a rate of 4,000 feet. It's just fun to see how, how it compares to what you can, the real aircraft will do. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I don't think I've ever done a test with the A10C. We have the A10A as well, which is a lower fidelity model. But this is the, the, the one that we purchased. 8,600 feet. Look at those engines. Keeping it uh, climbing. Where are we now? 9,000 feet. And everything's looking very, very small. I think there's a boat down there. Look, see the boat? That boat, see the boat. Still climbing. And uh, we are using a CH throttle and a CH fighter stick. We had it for a few years now. They, they do a job. Very good. Oh, now we're getting into the uh, heights of the atmosphere. You can see it's gone darker blue here. And I'm having to adjust it a little bit more often, but we're still only at 12,000 feet. It's starting to struggle a little bit. Surely it'll go higher than that. There's a bit more uh, control on the stick required. Is this going higher? 14, 13,000 feet.
Where are we now? 13 and a half. Not that high. Really. Not yet. I think I went up to about... Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. The MiG-29. Way over 30,000 feet, I believe. So, 14,600 feet. Just shadows on the right hand side. Awesome. It's getting a little bit darker. I'm complaining now a little bit. 16,000 feet. Is it picking something up there on the radar? I don't know. Oh, am I being fired at? <laughs> I don't know if I'm being fired at yet. See anything outside? Seventeen thousand feet. Wobbling a bit. I'm not quite sure what that is, that noise. If somebody could let me know, that'd be great. Now it's gone, look. So 17,900... Um, I think it's warning me I'm too high. And now it's time to float around a bit. Whoa, 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 am I stalling? Yeah, what was it, 18,000 feet? Come on, surely you can go higher than that. Come on, guys. 18,000 feet. 17,840. Let's lower the climb rate a bit. That might be helpful. Yep, it's a little bit helpful. Okay, so we're climbing still. 18,000 feet. Eighteen thousand two hundred and fifty. Are we gonna get this at thirty thousand feet? <laughs> I don't know. So far, keeping it up at this rate seems to be a little bit better. Doesn't seem to be complaining so much. Still climbing a little bit more higher than we should. 19,000 feet. We're going to hit 20,000. We're hitting 20,000 in the next few seconds and 20,000 feet now. Whew. It's all about keeping it steady, I think. Those engines go in. So, um, yeah, I think if you keep it around 1 to 2,000 feet per minute, Oh, it's in meters, I can't remember. I'm sure someone's going to correct me. Then it will um, not complain so much. And it won't stall. So I think what I was doing earlier was sort of climbing at a too high a rate. And it was uh, starting to complain, which is what the probably probably what the noise was. But if there's any A10C experts out there, put it in the comments and let me know. 21,600 feet now.
Where are we now? Uh, 22,800 feet. I wonder how much longer we can go into the sky for. I wonder what, I, I haven't got a chance to check now, but let's see how high it says on Google that this plane can go. Twenty-four thousand feet. Still climbing. Twenty-five Well, still climbing. Oh, we're climbing at zero now. Warning, autopilot. Okay, so I put the autopilot on, thinking it was gonna call the the climb for me, but it didn't. So we're still climbing. It wasn't climbing for me. It was just holding a steady level. I needed to change it really, but um, let's just fly it manually for now. Twenty six thousand feet. I wonder how much higher is going to go. <laughs> Still going. Twenty-seven thousand seven hundred. Now altitude. Now do you see the ground now? Look at that gun at right the front. Twenty-eight thousand. I think we're getting to what very near the ceiling height. Been space soon. Now it's starting to dip a bit. Yep, it's starting to complain a little bit more now. Twenty-eight thousand seven hundred. Can we get it to thirty thousand? We're nearly twenty-nine thousand. 
any DCS people who have this, let me know what altitude you got this to. It'd be interesting to compare figures with other people's um, attempts at flying this high with the A10C. I'm still flying a little higher, uh, but it's getting more difficult to maintain the climb rate. Are we going to hit that magical 30? Or is he going to rob me of that? 29,300 Come on, just a little bit more It doesn't like it, it's not liking it It's not liking this at all Come on, just a little bit more, guys. Right, we're getting a bit of a climb. 29,500. We might get to 30,000. Come on. Come on, just a little bit longer. 200 meters more. We can. Come on, we've got to do it. No, it's dropping. It's dropping. Come on. It's not liking it. 29.7. I'm going to try and force it. But it's not going out. It doesn't want to go. It's, it's spinning now. It's spinning. It's spinning. And now. Oh. It's losing altitude now. Let's see. I think we're stalling. Oh. No, it doesn't like it. Okay. I thought we were going to reach 30,000, but it's not happening. In fact, we're uh, all over the shop. Alright, let's recover this a bit, guys. Whew! So, we reached 29,800 feet, and just 200 feet off 30,000, and, well... That was a good effort, but we didn't quite get to 30,000. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, next time we'll be looking at another aircraft and seeing how high that can go. Don't forget to tune in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, and leave a comment if you think you, we can improve things or if there's anything else you'd like us to do on the channel. So until next time, goodbye and take care.